Welcome, welcome, one and all. So, on this day of no Wi Fi age and edited videos, I figured I'd introduce you guys to something that I really enjoyed when I was a kid. Um, this was probably me and my cousin's favorite game to play together when we were at my grandparents' house. Uh, they had a Super Nintendo as well, and they had this lovely treat of a game. Lost Vikings, bruh. Now, it has been so many years since I've played this. This is definitely what I think of when I think of classics. It's something that everybody should know about, but surprisingly few people do. My name is Eric the Swift. Yeah. Essentially, he can run really fast, and he can also bang things up, up against his head. I don't know why he would have to introduce himself to his wife. Or maybe, maybe it wasn't his wife. He is a Viking, after all. Maybe he just, he just laid claim to his women. Yeah, these, these guys are just now introducing themselves to their, the women that bear their children. Here we go. And our adventure begins. I would rather move with him, though. I remember how immature we were as kids, we would like do this. Oh, we can see his butt crack! <laughs> it was always fun. <clears throat> so this guy has a sword and a bow and arrow. Yeah, and he just lets you know Oh, I gotta get my buddies too. If you can't complete um, the level without all of them, you'll have to start it over. Password's great. Although it didn't really need the T, but... I'll just have jumper guy carry everything. You must find Bob's and blow up the computer, bruh. So 
I'm gonna just wait for this guy to move. It is a little risky trying to kill enemies that way, but... Yeah, I mean, you can get a great deal through this level without these guys at first. Yeah, buddy. He can float down with his shield. So that's how you have to get through. swap items between uh, characters too. So let's get shield guy. a fair bit of this that I still remember. Man, it's been so long. Definitely not a speed running type of game, I don't think. You just gotta you gotta wait while these slow oaks make it through. Stick close to me, I will lead the way. You wouldn't know which way to lead if you had a map. If you two don't stop fighting, I'm going to have to brain you both. I remember there were like a couple instances that made me laugh as a kid, a couple lines.
I'm curious if there is something like up here. <laughs> Never really checked. Oh yeah. There's a lot of those in this game. Oh, I almost lost some health. I don't think I ever noticed that before. that Crutonians have been talking about. Who are these Crutonians and why did they bring us here? Toma Tomator, the evil Crutonian ruler, is collecting unique life forms to display in his gallery. Sounds like a great guy. Do not expect an invitation to dinner. Nothing. I need this guy though. Oh, geez. I think there's something in the wall over here. I'm not 100% sure about that though. Something. Just a place to hide, I guess. Boom. That's what that X thing is. <clears throat> Not too useful in any other circumstances. dibs on his helmet. Okay, but I get his boots. It's great to have such good friends. Grind. But if you do die, what you see essentially is them standing on a coastline watching a burning ship sailing away, basically presumably with their friends' bodies in it. And then like you hit the, if you want to continue, you hit the B button and then it um, lightning strikes down and revives your two buddies well, essentially these guys I, I can't remember if I need shield guy or jump guy Just teleport to the next area, soft walk myself.
<laughs> it just looks like he's pushing on the edge of the screen. Oh god, he's in my living room! Ah! Oh man, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. I remember that there's these things, and it you just go up. You just begin to go up, and you can't help it. And there's electricity at the very top. But there is a part... Yeah, right there where you can drop, but you need both shield guy and jump guy to do it, I think. Yep. Okay. I forgot to activate them before I ran across like a goober. Yeah, I, I actually found out later in life, way later in life, that there is a second Lost Vikings that I actually haven't played yet. So in order to play the second on YouTubes, I figured I should probably start with the first. Maybe it leads back home. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Jeez, would you just dive out of a spaceship into a random galaxy? I'm guessing it's supposed to be a wormhole, I think, but it looks like a galaxy. Because he said maybe it leads back home. God, I admit, you'd just be lost forever. That was intense. Yeah, what a ride. I think I'm going to be sick. Yeah, buddy, I almost never use that X thing. I use it on that last level you saw me use it, and then that's the last time I use it, usually. Okay, let's get shield guy up here for sure. Now I'm gonna stand right here because there's a freaking T-Rex that like comes down the hill. I thought. Oh, maybe maybe I already killed him. Um, he comes down the hill and then like sometimes they'll get you in the noggin because you're it's on a slant slope thingy. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, now I think I'm going to give the key to him, one of the keys at least, so that I can pick up this thingy up here. It's a uh, extra health slot, pretty much. Okay, so we need a lower shield guy's shield so we can do this. And while that's breaking, we can get him over here.
I imagine that this will be something like a two to three video playthrough, so maybe we will finish this. Like, I think we, I'm pretty sure we will. And then, uh, I can actually try out the new one. See if I can pull it off, or if it's just scary beyond all reason. Oops. Didn't even use the extra health slot. Those blue lizards were kind of cute. Yeah, when they weren't trying to eat us. Flot. Okay. some health for shield guy. I don't remember if there was like a hidden wall around here somewhere. I doubt it. I want to skip it. Actually, let me get jumper up here. get jumper guy down here. I may have to learn the... because I don't think... yeah, I think once I do this I'm gonna have to start the level over. Okay. Right back here again. Gotta learn this one. So many ways to die. Okay, I can't open that yet. Not until those animals go away. I wonder, can I break this wall? Maybe? It looks like I might be able to. It sounds like it when it hits the wall. Dang it. Not enough speed, I guess. Oh man, the incline. Yeah, you just gotta wait until this guy shows himself. There's a secret over here. Oh yeah, fire arrows. I forgot about that. Those things can kill those uh, rolly guys pretty easily. Wait a second. 
No, no, it's not this one. There's actually one of those flame-throwing things. You can actually, uh, destroy one of them. I don't think it's that one, though. I think it's later on. Okay. And that'll just give me fire arrows for the level. Man, I suppose we'll complete this one and call it, probably, at least for now. The levels get pretty insane later on, for sure. to start jumping across bubbles and working tools like electric magnets they end up uh, making it to the modern world I think or something or maybe some sort of industrialized society and I'm not using any of the health things is because you know I've already done this a bunch I pretty much know the, the game by now who are those weird looking guys I don't know but did you check out their hairdos and people say we need haircuts Trees. <laughs> or terse. Alright. Alright, I suppose I'll end that one here. We'll come back to it eventually. And thank you guys for watching who did tune in to watch. Take her easy. Yeah.